What's good YouTube? Nocturnal Duck back with a brand new deck just for you in your head and this one's gonna catch you by surprise. Alright, so what are we trying to do today? We're trying to swing and win with a weapon rack. <laughs> Let me explain. So this is a 4-drop artifact that comes down with 3-1-1 one, one counters on it. So if we use something like Animating Fairy, which will animate it into a creature and put 4 extra 1-1 one, one counters on it. So that's going to be a 7-7 seven, seven and, you know, pseudo haste if you've already had that on the battlefield, which you generally do. So you can swing in with it the turn, you turn it into a creature. But sometimes you will have, say, Oko, you can do the minus, oh sorry, the plus, and turn this into a 3-3 three, three base creature that will already have the three one one counters on it so it'll be a six six creature the khan will actually turn it into a four four base creature and it will have three one ones already on it but then that's just until the end of your turn it's good for a blocker to protect khan but it's sort of not the not the best but he has another purpose he you want to use khan to dig in and get other things out of here which we'll get into later but what i've noticed is with that combo you can do that on pretty much any artifact so let's say uh witching well for example we play witching well and then we play an animating fairy turning it into a 4-4 creature and then you use oko to turn it into a 3-3 base creature which will have 4-1-1 counters on it so that's the little trick it's going to turn any of these into 7-7 seven, seven creatures so that's just unexpected from the opponent for you to just turn a egg into a 7-7 seven, seven and swing straight away or even a witching well which is crazy if they use removal on it they kind of have to and it's just for a one drop artifact so i think it's got a lot of legwork that they don't see coming and it just gets good damage in for you so the artifacts i decided to roll with is obviously witching well four copies because because turn one scry two is awesome and then you know by turn three you've got the setup of it being a four four you've already got a creature on the battlefield kind of thing uh the second one's a scoldering cauldron this will do three damage to any creature if you need it to it's not overly what it's in here for but i feel like i could probably replace this with another artifact but it's up to you guys to hit me up in the comments and let me know but it's been working the three damage can come into play occasionally um, I have the golden egg. This is here because it's A, a card draw. B, it is a little bit of a color fixing if we need to get the green happening, but it can also give us life. That's the, that's the main thing is that I want to be able to get life back so we can stay in the game versus big mono and big trampoly kind of decks. Sorceress Spyglass is amazing in this deck. You're going turn to uh, Spyglass, looking at their hand and seeing whatever is going to come your way and stopping one of the biggest things or the next thing, whatever you need it to do. And then turn three, you're turning it into a 4-4 creature and swinging it in. So that's crazy. I absolutely love how much work that would do as a creature. If that, if that was all written on a creature's text as a two drop, you know, like a two drop 4-4 four, four that looks at the opponent's hand and cancels out whatever you know card you choose card name you choose broken broken um, then I have the flipper dip in here because I, I want to extend that turn to draw and I don't have many creatures as you notice we are going to turn all these into creatures but we have to wait until turn three to pretty much do that so turn two I want to have a blocker so I have flipper dip here for a block and a card draw and just a little side note you can use um, you can use Oko's plus one and turn him into a three three it's not going to shuffle him into the deck because it's not a spell it's a, a triggered ability. Um, Callous Dismissal's in here for a number of reasons, just moving a creature out of the way that we can get damage through, and leaving behind that 1-1 one, one token, you can use the plus 1 again, and it will turn that 1-1 one, one into a 4-4, four, four. so that's crazy beautiful, but it also can bounce back your Animating Fairy, so you get to use the trigger again, or say a Golden Egg if you need to draw again, or whatever. Um, then we move on to say the weapon rack itself we already know that's going to be a 7-7 or a 6-6 but if it's you know if you use 
Oko's ability, you're not going to be able to move the counters around, but if you use the animating fairy, you've got seven one ones to just start dispersing around as you need, which is stupidly good. I really enjoy how that works. And then Khan is going to obviously animate any of these, but the main thing you want to do with him is dig out other cards. So we've got two lucky clovers in the sideboard, so we can use animating fairies uh, bring to life a number of times, hopefully animating three things at once. Our wand, this thing is awesome. If we can dig this up and then use animating fairy on it, then turning this into a 4-4 creature that when it dies, it's going to do five damage to any target. So that's crucial reach. You know, you can just end the game with that one, you know, sacrifice of this. Not that we can sacrifice it. I was thinking about putting in a witch's oven instead of the scolding, scolding cauldron. But, you know, that's we'll, we'll test that down the line. Maybe I'll, I'll add that in if it's going to work better and I'll update it. Um, the Salvager of Ruin, this will actually come into play a lot. If you fetch this with Khan and you have enough mana to play it again, then instantly it's going to you know, be able to bring back Khan if he dies, or Oko, or anything goes back to your hand. So that really helps. Our Firemind Vessels here just for ramp and a bit of colour fixing. The Mystic Forge is here because we want to be able to like dig through our deck and we don't have a lot of draw. This will, well, I mean we do, we've got the Egg and the Fibbledip and the Wishing Well, Witching Well, but this is just a way for us to dig through and try and find our weapon rack as soon as possible. And then we have one weapon rack in here, so that way if we can't find it but we have Khan, we can dig it out as we need. And the last one is the Stone Coil Serpent because we need a big chunky creature late game that has reach and trample. You know, I think that will come into play, but it's more for big trampley decks. Even though we are making a lot of 7-7s, seven they're just coming out of the woodworks with this deck. It goes crazy. Um, the land is in a planet beacon times four because we have eight planeswalkers, so that's crucial life gain for uh, mono red aggro decks or big trample decks. And then the rest of the land is up to you. I only have one breeding pool, which I obviously would run for if I had more. But if you have more, then I suggest doing that. Um, that's pretty much the deck. Uh, it's a bit of a shorter video. I really wanted to just like get this one out because I feel like when I found it, I just went boom, yes. And I feel like there's probably a lot I'm not seeing and I wanted to see what you guys thought. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, hit me up in the comments and let me know anything that you would fix or anything I'm not seeing, very open for uh, constructive criticism. And enough chin flapping from me, let's get into some games. All right, we'll keep this. For sure we'll keep this. Another land, we've got our colors. So we'll go into a spyglass next and then into our fairy. Depends if he's got a Thought Erasure. My favourite card. My all-time favourite card. Oh, and he didn't flash it in. That's weird. Are we going to be able to stop Thought Erasure here? <laughs> what about Duress? Mm, duress. Done. Yep. So now what are you going to play? Yep. No worries. Okay, so... I think hmm let's do the wishing well let's get a scry going on oh that's not too bad Um, I guess we can do that and then we draw the, draw the thing. We'll return that to his hand. Create a blocker.
Sweet. So now I can flash him back in. Yep. But then he couldn't buff him. Plus we have a blocker. Okay, so he's going to put down that... Ooh. Man, I hope I can find another... What do you call it? Spyglass. How to stop this thing. Um, I guess... I think we'll go with this. And we'll pass turn. Sure. Sure. And then he's going to play that, and his hand is empty. So hopefully we can just start leveling out a bit here. I mean, we're going to get rid of his cutthroat if he attacks. Okay, so he's not attacking. Doesn't want to lose his dude. So we'll get this down. We'll also draw a card here. We might as well get another scry. Oh. Well. I think Oko is probably better. We ought to stop one of his dudes. No attack. Yes. Okay, I don't have any cards in hand, so that was a waste. Should have waited till I'd done this. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Swing with both, yep. And we'll wipe him off there. Take two. That's alright. Okay, so I think we can safely go. We'll just kill him. Um, actually, let us... Let us go with... Spyglass. And we'll swing in. Okay, we need to start getting some damage. Could have put this out to block as well, but I don't mind him tapping down for for this. He's gonna draw a card here. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe. Okay, missed opportunity there. Okay, so in this instance, um, we do want to go and get that weapon rack. We do need a flyer.
Well, let's go like this. <clears throat> we'll just take him. It's only doing two damage here, so I'm not going to attack. We'll wait till we get something decent going. <clears throat> Now we know that he didn't like that. Cool. There's his card draw. One turn too late. Depends what he's drawn here. Not the best. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll put another counter on. As we're going to get all of those cards back. So now do we take three damage and do three damage? No. So we really need to be able to bounce that back to his hand and then get our attack in. That's the plan. Draw seven cards. Wow, what the hell? That's weird. Anyway, that's a win. <laughs> oh, we are keeping this. Got all our colors. Got our weapon rack. Oh, even better. This could roll out exactly how I want it to, potentially. Okay. Um, I think it's safe to get this down for now. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, why not? Sure. Cool. I think we still go this way. So we'll have a big attack. And then next turn we can use Oko to turn it into a 3-3, three, three, which will have the four counters on it. So there's our 7-7 seven, seven straight away. We get another land and we can go with this combo. I mean, it's obviously this is going to be better with this. Putting four counters on it and it's already got the three. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, I think now we can go like this. Is he going to have a counter spell here? Yes. We'll just attack with a 7 7. Yep. So it's a nice little combo. And 
next turn we'll probably go weapon rack. Yep. Or we could put out the blocker. Um That's not bad, but I sort of want another land for that. Um, weapon rack. What did I get it? Into a seven seven or oh, six six. It's a seven seven when I use this or this. Sweet. Okay. And this guy's charging for some sort of answer. Got two solid dudes down. I feel like you would have to have a bounce or something. Okay. What are you going to go and get? Some sort of spell sweeper? What have we got next turn? 13 damage. Can we get an extra 3 damage through somehow? It's not going to look like it. No. Okay, so he's having a good think about that. Okay. So we're still going to get our damage down. Okay. So this will just make it so we can get our damage in. And we'll chuck this on him. We'll get a little card draw action. Thirteen damage. That's nice. So what are you going to do here? You really need a sweeper. You're going to hope for a blocker, but you need two. What is this? Can you put that down and that down? But then you can't cast that. So what else do you have in there? Okay, that's fine. Just get rid of our one drop. <laughs> oh, that's not good for you. That's not nice for you. Um, no. So we've got exactly the game when we do this. But, what we could do is swap this for this. That's just a nicer way. And we'll get that back. <laughs> nice. That was a good win. Alright, I thought I'd open a pack. See what we pull. Shopping card, that's always nice. Oh, second one of that. Stolen by the Fae. That's not too bad. Not too bad. 
All right, that's all for me. Thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the games. It was just a short video today. I just I found this little deck tech, and I just couldn't wait to show you. You can see the combos going off already, so you know what it's trying to do, but it's very fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed the games. I hope you guys build it, but most of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and hit me up in the comments if there's anything that you would like to see, if you'd like to see me build something. But until next time, Nocturnal Duck out.